Hi guys. Today we're going to look at an issue that you often discuss online, namely which way round to fit a double-sided multi-V belt with a PK profile. Let's first clarify what we mean. What sort of belt is that and what is its structure? Briefly, DPK is a double-sided PK multi-V belt. PK refers to the profile form, the standard profile. There are also other profile forms such as PL or PJ. These belts have ribs on both sides, as you can see. They are used in complex belt drives, such as 1.8-liter turbo engines from VW and Audi, with the engine codes AUM, BUP or APX. If you take a closer look at such a belt, you'll discover that we have different materials on the belt. On one face we have a rubber coating and on the other a fabric. That means it has a rough finish. This roughness is a special fabric, and this face is always the one in contact with the alternator. You may find that you take this belt out of its packaging and that it twists in two or even three loops. Then you no longer know how it was when you took it out of the packaging. Don't worry, all you need to do is look at where the rough face is, because that is always the face that is in contact with the alternator. You then know which way round to fit the belt. If it's twisted and you don't pay attention to this fabric, you may find that we have different lengths. By that we mean the belt has an internal length and also an external length. If I were now to turn the belt inside out, it would have the wrong length on the inside. It would be too long and could generate noises as a result. That's why it's important to always fit the belt the right way round and to check where our fabric is. Why is that important? because it is only this coating that offers the slip and friction that an engine needs. At Continental, the coating is precisely tailored to the engine. You're undoubtedly now asking yourselves, why aren't both sides coated? It would be a good idea, actually, but for production reasons it's not possible to do it differently. You can see here how such a belt is made. The first layer of our multi-V belt material is wrapped around the building drum. Then the tension member, which provides the belt strength, is wound on. It's particularly important to mention at this juncture that we use different types of tension member for the different applications. Made of, for example, high tensile polyester fibers or certain aramid compounds, depending on the end product. Next comes the second layer of the material, which is automatically wrapped around the building drum using a slab application method. The resulting sleeve is divided into two sleeves to simplify further processing. After a defined interim storage period, the sleeves are vulcanized, which means pressed by applying both pressure and heat. Crucial difference from the production of timing belts, the profile of the multi-V belt is on the inside of the vulcanization autoclave, whereas it is on the outside with a timing belt. The vulcanization process is computer-controlled and is rigorously monitored. After vulcanization, the sleeve is slit into individual belts and inverted. Only now is the profile on the inside. The sleeves are then checked to ensure their sizing and running properties are correct and are inspected for faults. The final check is carried out by trained specialist personnel. This is preceded by a machine cross-check of all the belts. If you need any further fitting tips, take a look in our PIC. This contains free-of-charge fitting instructions and other information. Till next time in your workshop.